And then again, uh, speaking about the Commission, there are um, uh, uh, important elements. They have to promote the studies and the professional historical research of totalitarian history, which is lacking actually uh, the finances. Uh, then uh, uh, support institutions and non-governmental organizations actively engaged in researching and collecting documents on crimes committed during Stalinist period. And uh, about network I already told. And then also what is important that uh, in European institutions support not only, not only European but also na national projects related to research and education as well as cultural and educational initiatives because uh, films like Soviet Story can bring more understanding to Europeans than hundred conferences and uh, seminars like we are taking part today. Here you see uh, the list of all the documents which are adopted by different European institutions. Uh, they are available um, on the homepage of European institutions and I hope that uh, you uh, received the handout uh, of, of my presentation. Here I will stop to an important decision which has been taken in November 2008. Uh, 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 because um, Baltic states and Poland insisted that during the discussion on the decision on combating certain forms of expressions of racism and xenophobia by means of, of criminal law, the reference will be included also to Stalinist crimes. At that time, uh, our countries were almost called names by uh, European media, stating that we are anti-European, that we want to split uh, the, the common European approach, but we stand, stood strong in our conviction. And finally, uh, the Council adopted um, uh, the uh, request uh, calling on the Commission to examine and to report to the com Council whether an additional instrument is needed to cover publicly condoned denying or grossly trivializing crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes directed against a group of persons defined by other criteria than race, color, religion, descent, or national or ethnic origin. And here comes what is important for us, such as social status or political convictions. And later on I will come to the report which was, uh, was uh, submitted to uh, by the Commission. I will skip a few of uh, documents uh, and I will stop to the uh, what I consider as one of the most important documents and what I recommend strongly to all present uh, who are interested in this uh, read carefully and this is EP resolution, European Parliament's resolution on European conscious and totalitarianism. Uh, I know that Mrs. Weider and uh, Professor Landsberg, they both worked on that document and that they, uh, this document was adopted by immense majority of the European Parliament. Only some 43 members of Parliament voted uh, or abstained, uh, voted against or abstained. This is a remarkable document which sets the political framework for uh, actions um, what European Union institutions have to take. And here you see the, uh, I mentioned the report, the memory of the crimes committed by totalitarian regimes in Europe. Unfortunately, this uh, report uh, uh, made a, uh, a constatation that the national legislation does not permit to bring to criminal justice on European level the perpetrators of the crimes committed by uh, communism. Uh, that this framework exists only in five of member states. Partly in Latvia, um, entirely in Lithuania, now just Hungary adopted the appropriate legislation. But what is important uh, uh, by, by this report, that it concentrates on two aspects, on memory and on on um, uh, uh, 
financial programs which could be made available uh, for the research, information and um, exchange. And on the basis of that document, European Council adopted the conclusions, which until now is the most serious document, because it was agreed by all member states. And it sets the action program for member states and for other European institutions. Uh, to conclude, I will tell a few words about the informal group of members of parliament, uh, uh, con consisting of 39 persons, which was established in 2010 in European Parliament. This uh, group um, considers as its mission to bring closer to uh, the diverging views on, on history uh, in Europe, uh, to provide more information about what actually happened uh, behind the Iron uh, Curtain, and to work with European institutions to facilitate uh, the, uh, all the projects um, uh, regarding, uh, to facilitate the financial means for the projects of research and education. And a few words about our main activities. We had last year two important hearings. The, the first one, uh, what do young European know about totalitarianism? And another one, which was based on the Commission report, what um, I um, uh, told you before, the memory of the crimes committed by totalitarian regimes in Europe, where an important group from Euro the Lithuanian Parliament took part. We also very actively supported the founding of the Platform of European Memory and Conscience, which um, uh, is constituted now in Prague. Then we very carefully followed the different developments of the narrative uh, media memorials in, in Europe, and we issued the statements, because quite often in Europe still we have the, the, uh, the, the project projects to erect the monument to Lenin or to Mao or to some other great heroes of 20th century. Uh, about future projects, we, we are looking forward to the hearing entitled Life After Soviet Union, which will be in the beginning of March, and then we would like to open the discussion on the necessity to have a guidelines on European archives. All historians who work with archives, you know that uh, uh, guidelines except UN level does not exist in this area. And it is quite dangerous because there are several member states which censors their archives and where also such an in imaginable thing could happen that a person can take out from its dossier uh, page one or two or whatever. And, and finally, if you are interested in our work, you can learn more about it on, on our uh, website, uh, www.eureconciliation.eu, which is one of the most extensive bases on all internet resources available on uh, totalitarian regimes. So thank you very much for your attention.